In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NaNO3 plus CaCl2. This is sodium nitrate plus calcium chloride. First thing we need to do, balance the molecular equation. I have one nitrate ion here, and then over here I have two of them. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the NaNO3. Now I've got two sodiums and only one here. If I put a 2 here, that balances the sodiums. Plus now I have two chlorines here, and then two here, and then one calcium, one calcium. This is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, sodium compounds, very soluble, nitrate compounds, very soluble. So this will dissolve and dissociate. Chlorides, very soluble. Here we have a sodium and a chloride, that's soluble. And we have the nitrate again, so that'll be soluble. So when you have all aqueous compounds, none of them form a new product. They're all just dissolved into their ions. So no reaction takes place in this case. You really wouldn't write a net ionic equation. You just say no reaction. So no reaction for NaNO3 plus CaCl2. But let's just go on here and do this real quick. Let's split the strong electrolytes into their ions and we'll see why there's no reaction here. So I've split all of these compounds up into their ions, and all of these will be aqueous. So we have all these aqueous ions here in a net ionic equation, then we'd cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides, reactants and products. So I have two sodium ions in the reactants and in the products, two nitrates, two nitrates. I have a calcium ion here and here, two chlorides, two chlorides. You can see I've crossed everything out. So what remains is the net ionic equation, but nothing remains. So there's no reaction and no net ionic equation for NaNO3 plus CaCl2. So that's it. This is Dr. B with NaNO3 plus CaCl2. Thanks for watching.